Welcome everyone to MTG Deck Masters. In today's video, I'm going to show you the ultimate magical Christmas land combo tutorial for modern. I know you guys love these combo tutorials, especially the ones that are completely unrealistic, and this one is no exception. So let's get right into it with modern Twiddle Storm. If you know anything about Twiddle Storm, it's that it's completely based around Lotus Field, a land that taps for 3 mana but requires you to sacrifice two lands when it comes into play. So how in the world could you win on turn two? You'll show, um, I will show you exactly how to today. It might seem unrealistic, but it's pretty fun. And I would love to do it in person just to see my opponent's face. But I doubt that will ever happen because, I mean, the odds are probably one in 10,000 games. So let's look at our opening hand. First of all, we have a basic island, nothing too fancy. Then we have Consider as a turn 1 cantrip. Then we also have two copies of Twiddle. One blue mana instant, tap or untap target land, artifact or creature. Two copies of that. Then one Dreams Grip, which does essentially the same thing. Except for one extra mana, you can also tap another permanent. But we're not going to use that, we're just going to use it to untap Lotus Field. This land that taps for three mana of any color. But when it comes to the play, we must sacrifice two lands. And you may be wondering, how are you going to win on turn two with that? You're going to see. And then we have Ad Nauseam, which is a relatively new addition to Twiddle Storm that I've been loving, especially when playing against Graveyard Hate. It's five mana for an instant. Reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to its converted mana cost. And you repeat this process any number of times. And the reason why this card is so good in Twiddle Storm is that the average converted mana cost in this deck is under 1. That's right, under 1. Everything in the deck is a 1 drop, 0 drop, or land, except for the 4 Underworld Breach and the 4 Wishlaw Talisman and the Ad Nauseam. But when we cast the Ad Nauseam, it's out of the deck, obviously, because it's a singleton. So let's start this game. Let's pretend we're on the play. Play Snow Covered Island, and at the opponent's end step, consider... It's Otherworldly Gaze, we'll put that in the graveyard, we don't need it, and we're going to draw another Consider. Whatever. We won't need that, but it's fine. And then, draw for turn, it's Otherworldly Gaze. Fine. So now, what we're going to do is tap the Lotus Field for a blue. So we have one blue floating. I'll use these uh, little mana symbols with dice, whereas in person, in competitive events, you should always use pen and paper. That's just from a personal experience where I got disqualified, not disqualified, but got a game loss in a tournament for using that. And now we'll play Lotus Field. We have the trigger on the stack. We must sacrifice two lands. We only have two lands on the battlefield. We're not going to sacrifice our lands because in response to the trigger, we will twiddle to untap the Lotus Field. Now Storm is one. That was our first spell of the turn. Lotus Field is on top, still with the trigger on the stack. The trigger is still on the stack as long as I don't mention it. So now let's keep going. Still with the trigger on the stack, we're going to twiddle the Lotus Field. It taps for 3 blue. Twiddle costs 1, so we net 2 blue mana. And we untap Lotus Field. This is our second spell of the turn. And then we're going to do the same with Dream's Grip. So Dream's Grip, Storm is up to 3. We have 4 blue floating. Untap the Lotus Field. And now we're going to cast Ad Nauseam. 5 mana, tap for 3 black, and use 2 of our floating blue mana. So now Storm is 4. And we're going to reveal cards on the top of our deck until we get to a very low life total. And hopefully we're going to draw most of our deck with Ad Nauseam. That's still with Lotus Field trigger on the stack. All of these cards are instants. So now we're at 20 and uh, let's roll the dice. 20, 19, and, uh, 17, 16. Let's keep going. Still at 16, 15. Grape Shot. Uh, we were at, wait, we're at 20, 19, 17, 16, 15, now we're down to 13, 11, 10, 9, let's keep going, 7, 6, let's keep going, 5, 3, the card with the highest converted mana cost in the deck is 2, so if we're at 3, we can keep going. Don't scour, okay. Now the card with the highest CMC, as I mentioned, is 2. So now that we are down to 2 of the Tom Scour, I will not take the extra risk. So that is it for now. So we have this in our hand, quite a few cards. 
Now we still have the Lotus Field trigger on the stack, so we must cast our instance before we get to resolve that trigger. So for our instance, what I'm going to do is uh, twiddle the Lotus Field, Storm 5. have one blue floating. Then I'm going to... Um, wait, Storm is 5. We can get up to Storm 5. Do we have another twiddle? We have one, right? Yeah, so I could do that. Then I will tap the Lotus Field for to float blue. I will Dreams Grip. Storm 6, I have 3 blue floating on top. Then I will... Uh, what am I going to do? Do we have any baubles? We have a bobble. We have breach. And we have... We, ha we got a grape shot, right? Do we have any other zero drops? We don't. So, okay. The plan now will be... Since we have 6 mana total, and that's just enough for our win condition, we will stop casting instants. So we'll tap Lotus Field for 3 red in response to the trigger. we we'll get 3 red. 3 red floating. And now we'll let the trigger resolve. So the Lotus Fields, Lotus Field and Snow Covered Island are going to die. And now at least we're able to cast our Sorcery Speed spells. So play Mishra's Bobble, Storm is up to 7. We'll uh, sacrifice the Mishra's Bobble to look at our top card, for example. Underworld Breach, fine. Then we'll play Underworld Breach, Storm 8, leaving 2 blue and 2 red floating, Storm 8. And now we're going to exile 3 cards to escape the Mishra's Bobble. Storm is 9, sacrifice the Bobble, look at our top card, Breach, fine. And now we're going to Grape Shot the opponent, Storm 10, we're down to 2 mana, so opponent takes 10, and then we're going to exile 3 cards from our Graveyard to escape the Grape Shot, Storm 11, and now the opponent takes 11 damage, he took 21 damage total on turn 2, that's how you went on turn 2 with Modern Twiddle Storm. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> this will literally never happen, but now you know that if ever you have a land, Lotus Field, three twiddle effects and ad nauseum in your hand you can very well win on the second turn and even though you don't have lotus field in place still underworld breach is good enough to make you win by casting the grape shot and escaping it with the underworld breach just like you would do with something like snapcaster mage so that's enough how you win on turn two with modern twiddle storm let me know if you, if you think that will ever happen to me in a real game personally i don't think so but i would love it to happen because it's such an unlikely scenario and people just don't expect it. So that was really fun. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my Patreon for the full sideboard guide for this deck. And also if you want a cool playmat like this. It comes completely free as a sign up bonus for the card master tier. Or that tier also gives you access to the sideboard guide. So it might be something worth checking out if you're a big fan of Twindle Storm. Because I never disappoint. So thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time.